What's up guys and welcome to this video. If it's your first time on this channel, we are going to dive inside the collection of a certain celebrity. Today, the person in question is Cristiano Ronaldo, but there's someone you want to see us cover. Just put their name down in the comments and we choose the name which is the most recurring to pick our subject for the next video. If you are new and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below because 75% of people watching these videos are not subscribed, which is a huge number. So I'm going to give you guys three seconds to hit that subscribe button. Some of you still not done it. I see you. Right, let's get talking about Mr. Cristiano Ronaldo. The astonishing Cristiano Ronaldo. Tell me who's the best player in the world. Me. <laughs> Winning, that's the most important to me. It's as simple as that. The man needs no introduction. Some will call him the greatest footballer of all time. He's definitely one of them. Over 200 million followers on Instagram, the most followed person on Instagram. Had an incredible career, still going, now playing in Italy for Juventus. And uh, yeah, I mean, he is a petrol head. He loves watches, got some incredible houses, but he's also got an absolutely insane car collection. You guys are gonna see Cristiano has a pretty nuts collection of cars. We're talking Bugatti Chiron, McLaren Senna, F12 TDF, 599 GTO, Lamborghini Aventador, the list is insane, and we're gonna talk about all of it today. Now, when you're earning over 500,000 pounds a week, pretty easy to build up a collection of cars. We're gonna start way back though, back in 2006, when Cristiano picked up one of his first cars as a footballer, a BMW M6. This specific one actually has a naturally aspirated V10 engine, one of the greatest engines to have ever been put in a car. Two door, legendary, legendary car. So, really, already a very strong start from Cristiano. He then went the luxury route, so he moved on from BMW in their sporty V10 car straight to Bentley and bought a Bentley Continental GT Speed and has kind of kept one of those cars ever since. So that was back when it came out many, many years ago when he was playing in the UK. But he's since every time bought the facelifted version and always had the newest, latest, greatest Continental GT. It's a great car to have cruise around as a daily driver. One thing which is very cool and you'll notice is Cristiano often gets these cars very low-key colors. So the other celebrities that we've covered, Kylie Jenner, Lewis Hamilton, Gordon Ramsay even, sometimes go for some slightly more bright, flashy specs. Cristiano's actually pretty low-key. Calling him Cristiano because like we're on first name basis. <laughs> Should be calling him Sir Ronaldo. Cristiano then went and got himself a Range Rover, but not any Range Rover. Again, in a low-key color, but the SVR. This is the naturally aspirated V8 version of this car. V8, which is actually derived from the Jaguar F-Type R. Really, really cool engine. I mean, drinks like crazy. It's a, got a hole in the petrol tank, but it sounds awesome. So that's another great car. You're going to see this. There's going to be a bit of a 4x4 trend throughout this video as well. And we're going to be snapping through these cars because his collection is just huge. And I'm sure we're skipping some. It's impossible to know where his cars are, how many he has, because there are just so many. As many of you will know, Cristiano then transferred from playing at Manchester United down to Real Madrid. There, he could kind of itch that itch that he had for German cars because the club was sponsored by Audi. And every year, he would be loaned or given, it's not exactly sure what the setup was, an Audi. What we do know is he got himself an Audi R. RS7 at one point. Beautiful blacked out Audi RS7. Again, another kind of big German massive engine cruiser that he could go around in. Awesome, awesome car. Obviously very similar to the RS6, which Cristiano has also had at one point as a loaner from the Real Madrid deal. But then he also went for the slightly more sporty Audi R8 and actually a V10 Spider version of the R8. Obviously this is a car, if you guys aren't new to this channel, you know that I have a soft spot for having a V10 Plus myself. But he went for the Audi R8 Artronic gearbox single clutch gearbox, V10, 5.2 litre, over 500 horsepower. Absolutely awesome car. And it's probably the first supercar now. And it's the first of many, as you'll see, supercars that we're gonna be covering. Now, apparently there's been one car which Cristiano, along with the Bentleys, has always kept in his collection. And that's been a C63 AMG. He's always had a C63 AMG to be able to cruise around, do his shopping, do whatever he needs to do on a daily basis. And whenever there's a new one that comes out, similar to with the Bentley Continental GTs, just picks up a new one. So that would have started back with a previous generation C63s all the way back to the new one. But that's not the only AMG he's got. When he got transferred to Turin to play for Juventus, one car that we know he brought with him was his GLE 63 AMG S. Awesome 4x4 again in a low-key color. He's posted on Instagram with this car. Now again, it's very hard to know which cars he brought from Madrid with him, which he sold when he left, how many he's got there. There's always new cars popping up. 4x4s seem to be a type of car that he likes because back in the day, Cristiano also had a Porsche Cayenne Turbo 
Turbo. This, I think he has since obviously sold. Don't know if he's got a new one ever since. There are many of these cars that we haven't seen in ages. He had a McLaren MP4-12C when that came out. Um, haven't seen that car in ages. I actually had an MSO front bumper. Really, really cool. Hard to get photos of that. Hopefully we would have sourced one for you guys. But then a car that we do know he bought as a gift to himself for winning the 2015 Ballon d'Or. Ballon d'Or? It's a weird way to say it. Ballon d'Or in French. He bought himself a Porsche 911-991 Turbo S. Awesome spec as well in kind of like a dark brown color. Really, really cool car. Obviously the twin turbocharged version of the Porsche 911 Carrera. Legendary car, rapid, not 16, around three seconds on these. Such a cool car and awesome gift to himself for winning the Golden Ball Ballon d'Or. Ballon d'Or. We're kind of skipping all over the place here, but effectively that's what happens when you're researching this guy's cars. We're now going back to the Manchester United days because that is when he bought an Aston Martin DB9. Rumor has it that exact car he bought back in the Manchester days is the only car that has gone with him from Manchester to Madrid and now to Turin. So he will still apparently own an old school Aston Martin DB9 with the V12, great looking car, James Bond kind of car, and that was, <laughs> I guess, the blend in in the UK when he got it in a British supercar. And I guess it's a car that's been special to him. Maybe he's got special memories of that car and he's brought it everywhere with him ever since, which is pretty cool. Let's kick it off with one of the first Italian brands, Maserati brand that has a huge history in the racing world, also now owned by Ferrari in the Fiat Group. Fiat Group is actually based in Turin, which is where Juventus is based, probably completely unrelated to Ronaldo buying this car, but fun fact. Ronaldo bought a Maserati Grand Cabrio V8, actually inspired by the Ferrari 430, which I have upstairs. Awesome engine, sounds incredible, shitty gearbox, single clutch gearbox, but beautiful looking car. This is, I guess, the perfect Italian cruiser if he wants to drive down to the coast uh, in an Italian car. Maserati Gran Cabrio is probably one of the prettiest and most romantic cars you could do that in. Although I'm pretty sure Ronaldo doesn't have any trouble with his romance. You wouldn't be a world-class footballer if you didn't have a Rolls Royce or two, right? So Ronaldo has been photographed in Monaco, actually, in a Rolls Royce Phantom drop head. Car that originally would have been around 400,000 pounds. Now they've gone way down and you can find them around 150,000 pounds. But he was photographed in that car. I'm not sure if it was his, loaned by a friend, what he was doing in it. But Monaco plated, Phantom drop head, Cristiano Ronaldo driving many years ago when the car had first come out. Awesome. Since, he's always, you know, kind of kept a Rolls Royce around. And at the moment, the car he's been posting with the most is his Rolls Royce Cullinan, which yet again, he got in a pretty low key color. This one, full white, black interior. He's posted a fair amount with this. The latest, greatest, kind of big beast, first 4x4 from Rolls Royce, based on the chassis of the Phantom 8. Awesome looking thing, it is huge, and it is very expensive with the right spec. These can go up to oh, pretty much half a million pounds. Again, that's just like a week's salary without sponsors. For Cristiano, which is mind blowing. Ferrari, brand we all know. Again, kind of a footballer classic. To our knowledge, I'm sure he's maybe had more or got more, I'm not sure, has owned three of these. One of which was crashed. A Ferrari 599 GTB, which has a gorgeous V12 inspired, well, actually not inspired, taken directly from the Ferrari Enzo. One of the most legendary Ferraris ever produced, modern Ferraris at least ever produced. I'm not too sure what happened, but the car was completely wrecked. Uh, there are, of course, many rumors about this. Not really gonna comment on that. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but nobody was hurt. The car was totaled, but that's not a problem. Cristiano just went out and bought another one, another 599, but this time an even rarer, even more powerful version, the 599 GTO. So clearly the accident didn't particularly scare him from that specific car because he just went and bought an even more leery version of it. Also an even more expensive version of it, which since after he bought it went up in value. At some point they were even kind of knocking at the door of a million pounds, but now they have since come back down and you know, you're talking around 400,000 pounds for one of those. Awesome looking guys got it in a great spec again. Not a particularly bright, shouty, look at me spec. Cars finished in white. One of my personal favorites is Cristiano Ronaldo's F12 TDF. I think this has to be one of the best spec F12 TDFs in the world. Just under 800 of these were produced. Also got a V12. This time it's a new V12. Completely changed from the 599 GTO. Very limited car. Again, went up in value to be tickling at the steps of a million pounds. Tickling at the steps. Is that an expression? Okay is now. They've since, again, gone down in value as the whole car market has been doing specifically for those Ferraris, big front engine, rare, limited edition Ferraris kind of shot up and now coming back down. But his car is, I don't even know what you'd call this color. It's like a maroon, dark prune color. I don't really know, but it is absolutely stunning. The spec is great. He's even got the painted shields on the side to make the shields a lot larger. Personally, not my favorite touch on the car, but some people love that. And he's actually posted with this, so he's obviously fairly proud of it as well. We then also know that he has a Lamborghini Aventador. He's one of the first footballers to get 
the Lamborghini Aventador. 700 horsepower, V12, naturally aspirated, single clutch, bit outdated, but awesome, awesome looking car. Got it in matte black, which is just kind of cool. It's kind of like a Batman car. Awesome looking thing. And he actually drove, this is one of the cars, well, at least supercars, they drove around the most back in the Madrid days. And we don't know again if it's come with him to Turin, but he's been seen in it a fair amount back in Madrid. So you could assume he's at least, you know, either brought that one with him or bought uh, an Aventador S or SVJ or SV. I guess to him it's pennies, right? I mean, that's pretty much it as far as luxury cars, 4x4s and supercars. Now let's get on to Cristiano's hypercars. He's been very public with the fact that he bought himself a McLaren Senna, the most hardcore track focused McLaren out there. 800 kilos of downforce to a dining table wing on the back of it. Around 800 horsepower limited to 500 pieces worldwide. Again, he got his in a fairly low key silver, though you can't really ever call a McLaren Senna low key. Awesome looking car. Shows how much he knows his sports cars. This is a connoisseur's piece. It's not a car you just go out and buy randomly. It's really something that if you want a hardcore visceral experience, you go get the McLaren Senna. It's powered by a twin turbo V8. Obviously, you need to have had a few other McLarens, I believe. Maybe just because of the fact that it's Cristiano, he got one, but I think he probably would have needed to buy a few other McLarens before getting his Senna allocation. So, you know, we know he's had the MP4-12C at some point, but maybe he's had some others which have just escaped the lenses of photographers over the years. Very, very possible. But this one, he's been pretty public with on his Instagram. Cristiano won, won the Euro in 2016. Won the Euro, that sounds, that sounds like he won a currency. <laughs> I mean, effectively he has, right? To celebrate this victory, he bought himself a little gift. I mean, little gift is probably the biggest gift I've ever heard of anyone gifting themselves. A Bugatti Veyron Vitesse. So Bugatti, you guys all know Bugatti. I mean, the name just is synonymous with luxury, high end. They are some of the most expensive cars in the world, obviously. And the Vitesse is a hardcore, well, not really hardcore, but more powerful version of the standard Veyron. Uh, instead of having 1,001 horsepower, it's got over 1,200 horsepower. This one is a convertible, which I believe is still potentially, I, mean, I know Koenigsegg are kind of fighting for it, but when at least when it came out, the Vitesse was the fastest convertible in the world. Again, another car that Cristiano has been pretty vocal about. He's posted several photos with this car. It's in a really cool spec, carbon, and it's kind of the ultimate, right? I mean, only the top, top, top footballers can get themselves a Bugatti. And to celebrate a win like that, I mean, what better gift? So clearly, one of Cristiano's favorites because he didn't stop there. When Bugatti announced they were replacing the Veyron with the Chiron, he had to go and get himself one of those as well. So he's been as well pretty vocal about this, posting with his Bugatti Chiron. Once again, finished in silver, low-key color, but you can see some little CR7 details, for example, like in the seats or on the side of the car. He's had those put on, the, on it, so we know that it is his specific vehicle. It's not a loner. It's not a friend's car. It is his Bugatti Chiron. So two Bugattis in the collection, pretty insane, uh, and I'd say the Chiron is definitely the top mantelpiece of his collection, the creme de la creme, as far as cars go. But that car cost him probably around three million pounds. He was one of the first to get these. He's had it for a little while now. But yeah, Veyron Vitesse, Chiron, TDF, Entador, Senna, I mean, these are some pretty cool cars. So for sure, he's got some other ones we did not cover. I apologize if there's anything we've missed. If there is some stuff we've missed that you guys know of, comment down below. We can maybe make another video about it, but these are all the cars he's been most public about. And also, this would probably be a 40 minute long video if we did every single one of his cars. But to our knowledge, these are pretty much all the cars he's owned or currently owns today. I mean, obviously massive congrats to him. Not like he's ever gonna see this video, but Cristiano, awesome, awesome car collection. You guys know the drill. There's someone else you want us to talk about, someone else you wanna be the subject of these videos. All you have to do is comment their name down below and we'll be checking the comments right after we post this video to see who is coming up the most. If you've gotten to this point in the video and you're not subscribed, I mean, you might as well click the button at this point. Thank you for watching this far through the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll be back with another video to continue this series very, very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye. Oh, my voice went there. Bye-bye.